Matthew will be sharing with us a very special topic called You Are the World. Sounds interesting, right? Bhante gave us a selection of topics, so I thought this is interesting. Now, Bhante is a, is a Sri Lankan-born Australian citizen. He currently resides at the Nildiya Arana Forest Monastery, Knuckles Mountain Range in Kandy, Sri Lanka, where he spends most of his time in solitary pra solitude practice, practice. In lay life, Bhante was the owner-manager of two successful civil engineering companies in Sri Lanka, from 2008 to 2021, Bhante worked in various senior roles in the building construction industry in Australia. During his lay life, Bhante learned Buddhist philosophy at the late Venerable Arana Dhamma Thero. At the invitation of his teacher, he became a devoted bhikkhu and decided to serve the Buddha Sasana and cater to the spiritual needs of the Buddhist community. Venerable is in Malaysia for a short visit at the invitation of the Subang Jaya Buddhist Association. So let us put our palms together to invite Bhante to share the Dhamma talk. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Can, can you hear me? Yeah. Just on. Okay, sorry. Oh? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I don't know whether you, you all can come close to me, otherwise you all, both of you are... Okay. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah. you. Just now it's here, it's right lower. All right. Just look here. Okay. So, good morning to everyone. So now, how we have come to this world as human beings. And I think you'll have listened to a lot of Dharma talk during your life. So why are we practicing this Dharma? Actually, this is sort of a discussion that the way that I'm expressing my dhamma i need to need you all to talk with me yeah so i'm asking you all why are you practicing dhamma why do we need dhamma yeah yes that's a good answer yeah. So we have heard something about this su uh, suffering, yeah. So did um uh, actually did we choose our parents when we come to this world? So one day we are going to die. At that time, can we select our future parents? So what is the reason for it? Who can give a guarantee that we are going to get a birth as a human being again? Can anyone give a guarantee? Yes, that is why we are learning Dhamma. We want to stop the rebirth process. So actually we don't have any guarantee that we are going to get a rebirth as a human human being so this time we are lucky yeah we are human beings not animals so realize dhamma you have to be a human being because we have a brain so we can learn and realize and get enlightened and stop the rebirth process. I think by now you all have listened to a lot of Dharma talk. So I don't know how many of you have become enlightened. So is there so what is the reason for it? 
Why are we not getting enlightened? So we are listening, listening, listening. The main reason is we are not prepared. So we first one, you have to keep trust of this Dhamma, what Buddha has said. So we, we I think we all of all of us have that trust. We trust what, what Lord Buddha, Supreme Buddha has said about the, the his Dhamma. We so we no no doubts about it, yeah. So I think all of us have that one. The second one is the second one. There are four things that you have to remember. First one now, you already know. The second one, what is the second one? Why are we not getting enlightened? What is the second reason for it? I can't hear you actually. Yeah, yeah. Why we are we have we are listening to Dhamma? We are doing a lot of practices, so we are not get environment defilements. Oh yes, yes. So that's uh, another answer. Yeah. Yeah. How about the others? Yeah, that is the reason why we are not getting enlightened. Yeah? Enlightened. So, the first thing I said, we are not prepared. You have to do certain things to be prepared. Yeah. We have plans at home, uh, in my home environment, when we, um, we think about our children, we think about our parents, think about our loved ones. So we have a lot of plans inside. We have given value for those. Yeah? And we, have, we are working according to our plans. But we haven't given a command to inside that we are we want to stop the rebirth process. The first thing you need to do, we have to give a command to our inside to stop the rebirth process. So that is the most important thing that you have to do. That that is how you are getting prepared for it. Otherwise, you will be gaining a big knowledge. Understand? You will end up. You will end up with having a big dharma knowledge. Not get known what you won't get enlightened, or you re, you won't realize the dharma. Just the knowledge that is not going to do anything. So the second one, you have to. What is that? You have to give a command to your inside. I want to become enlightened and stop the rebirth system. Don't think about the enlightenment. So you just think that I want to stop the rebirth system. That's it. And the third one, you can have hopes, expectations and plans in your day-to-day -day life. But you are, you are, you must not give value for them. In other words, you are not living to do all those things. Understand? That is the third one. Use this mic. So, okay. So the third one, you are not giving any values for your expectations, hopes, and plans. It doesn't mean that you should not have plans and hopes and any expectations, but you are not giving value for them. 
Understand? Yeah. The fourth one, I said, so suppose now, hello? Hello? Oh, yeah. Now, a person will come here with a knife. Is that something wrong? Yeah. Here with the knife. Yes. And the sound of the knife is, I think this is going to be nice. That's all right. So the fourth one I want to tell you that a person will come into this, uh, come, come in, come in, um, to, in front of you with a knife and he will say, I'm going to cut your neck. Before I, I cut your neck, I'm going to say a word and you will get enlightened. So what do you do? Oh, I had to give a call to my wife or my husband. I had to write down my last will. Oh, you would just bend down your head and ask him to say that word and cut your, cut your neck. Understand? That's how you have to be prepared. So you can check, you can ask the question from you. Those are the four things, the four important things that you need to get enlightened. Otherwise, pointless of doing other, all the other things. Understand? You'll, you'll be end up with a lot of knowledge, pointless, useless. Okay, now anyhow, now we have come to this world. So, as a baby, we came here, yeah? So, suppose, now you are a baby. You, you go back to your baby's life and think. There are two ways of thinking you are going back to your baby's life. One is through your mind. The second way is just experience the birth now. Babe, baby's birth, you are just experiencing it. I want you to think, uh, go back to your baby's life in the second way that I explained, not through the mind. So, you can experience the baby's life now and just let me know, just tell me what, do you, what you can feel as a baby now. So, you, you are going back to your baby's life now. You are a baby now. You are experiencing it. So what you can feel, what you can hear. Can anyone tell me what you can hear or the feelings as a baby? I'll give you the first six months after your birth. The first, within the first six months, what can you feel? Small. Can you feel anything? Huh? Hungry, hungry. Hunger. So, actually, you can't feel the hunger you, as well because can you remember that hunger that you felt within that period? No. That is the truth. But you have got your, now you know that for, for uh, in, in, when you are a baby, you get five senses. What are the five senses? I, yes, 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 eyes, nose, tongue, ear, the body, yeah? So, those five senses working. The sixth sense, the mind, hasn't started it working. That's why you can't remember anything. Your mind is not there. In other words, you are also not there. Why? There are no thoughts. The main duty of the mind is making thoughts. So, how, how the mind is doing it, when you are a baby, 
the mind is deactivated. That's why you can't remember anything. Your mother must have gone several times in front of your eyes, eh? With, uh, within the six, first six months, you didn't keep your eyes closed, yeah, as a baby. But, but you, you but, but you can't remember your mother. The reason why there are no thoughts. So we'll assume the first thought, how it is going to make, the mind is going to make the first thought, mother. Mother must have, um, mother is standing in front of you and the light, a pattern of light comes and hits your eyes. And I, the sound, mother, 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 sound, it hits your ears, the sound waves. And what the mind does, grab those two the patterns, light pattern and the sound pattern, and put it together and make a knot and make a thought. That thought is you. At that time only, you were born. Understand? Until then, you are not there. That you can't detach you and thought. Got it? So I want to tell you this: all these five senses as a baby, in these senses are working one at a time, one sense at a time. When the eye works, all the other four shuts down. When the ear works, all the other four shuts down. When the nose works, that's how these five senses are working. One at a time, one sense at a time. And what is the speed? In a second, in how speed these senses are working? Does anyone know? So roughly it says one and you write one and 140 zeros. In such speed it works. And at the time that you blink your eyes, it works at a speed of 10 to the power 27. In such speed these things are working. Don't worry about the figure, but you have to get the concept. It, these five senses are working in such free speed. You, you, you don't know about this. And again, we go back to that um, first uh, thought, how it is going to make. The mother will stand in front of your eyes and the pattern of lights come and hit your eyes and the sound pattern hits your ear in two different times because the five senses are working one at a time. And the, what the mind does connects those patterns together and make the thought, mother, mother sign. That mother sign is you. You can't detach it. And that also, uh, that mother thought will also generate and dies very quickly. It is also in the same speed that I mentioned before. Understand? Any questions after that point? Everyone is clear about that? Yeah. So, what happens next time? Again, when, when you open your eyes, the mother is standing in front of you. As the same light pat pattern travels into your eyes. What will happen now? Because already mind has uh, a generated thought using that same light pattern and the sound pattern. So what the mind does, it generates a similar thought like the initial one. Not the initial one, it is, it is, it is already dead. A similar one, it arises again. Got it? And that thought is another you. Understand?
again it, it is happening in the same way it's repeating repeating that's how we feel like we are existing continuously yeah that is the ignorance that is the ignorance we don't know about this we are not aware of, of this process so when you know how the thoughts are generating all the thoughts have been created like that yeah understand so we have to analyze only one thought so when you analyze keep analyzing these thoughts you know this world is an illusion it is not real because thoughts are creating a platform for you to survive in other words without dead thoughts you are not here this is a bit deep you need to understand that i know very hard but easy to understand so now suppose now we are hearing the sound mother 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 ear picks up the sound pattern and already mind has got a sign made a thought made by made using by that same line uh, sound pattern yeah so what the mind does it creates another it generates another thought a similar one and that is going to be another you so you are not living con uh, continuously you are also dying after every thought this happens in a very big speed i told you the speed so we feel like we are continuously living and we can see our mother outside that is the biggest ignorance actually we are seeing that dead thought a similar dead thought arises at, at the present moment and that is that dead that thought is the platform for us to survive when there's no thoughts there's no you that's why a small baby cannot understand everything anything that's why we can't remember anything as a baby understand any questions yes walk forward to yeah yeah to um the baby's current life then good question very good question what are the other other questions that you all have i'll ask that question Okay. In our previous birth, Bhante. In our Bhante, sir, you are talking about thought is a uh, is temporary. I mean, so how do we deal with it as a normal human being? Yes. Because you say it doesn't exist. Yeah. So how do we deal with it as a lay people? Yes. Actually, can we stop um, generating this um, mind? can we stop i mean uh, the thoughts can we stop that system no i don't think so we can't stop it why we have already got five senses to create thoughts so already we have got that mechanism yeah so how to deal with it okay yeah. i'll now what we can do or we can we can just analyze the thoughts and we can be aware of this process this is not true which is it shows like that we can see the world outside and i am here 
that is not the truth. We are seeing actually a similar thought arising at the present in the present moment, a previously generated thought, a similar th thought like the previously generated one here. Yeah? Once you keep doing this practice, what the nature does, it opens at any time. But don't think about this one, okay? This is going to happen. Your wisdom I will get open. That in other words, you will get enlightened actually. You are you be aware of this one, this process. So I'll I'll take um, in my uh, I think we have one more hour here. So I can explain to you. Um you will get that point um answer during my speech and before you go you'll get get a get the answer for it and for the question that you asked what is the question that you asked the karma karma how how the karma yes yes so we all we have all of us have different bodies here yeah? and if we go and see the animal world they they are different we are different even as human beings we are not not the same in our day to day life we do various things you you, you must be doing something else but your mother is doing something else your sons and your children they are doing something else why how come this is going to happen So for that, I need to teach you a different um, section of this because I, I want to teach you how the karma is going to create. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know now. Now think, now you are hitting a dog using a stone, not you, uh, suppose now Another, um, a third party, uh, another per, uh, uh, somebody, someone else is hitting, throwing a stone at a dog, and you are happy. Now this, now this is a story just to explain this. How the karma is going to create for you? You are not doing anything; you are just seeing it. There's a dog. Someone is th uh, uh, throwing a stone, and that dog is running with a pain. So how the cow and you are happy about it. okay suppose now you are happy how the karma is going to work how the karma creates so suppose now you don't know any dhamma so there's a dog there you can see and there's a stone not heated and the dog is running away with a big pain how the karma is going to create minimum 500 times it gives you a birth as a dog and you will get hit by a stone. That's how the karma works. Because nature doesn't know good things and bad things. Nature thinks, ah, you like this situation. Understand? And what the nature does, it gives you the same situation to enjoy actually. So actually you must be happy to become a dog and got hit by a stone. Understand that's how the things are working. I'll explain you in another way, now, the, suppose now this is your friend, and this this guy wants to give you, give her some food, and he comes to you and asks, what is the food that she likes to eat, and you you are telling him, oh. 
this this uh, that and he loves this one and these are the desserts that she likes and suddenly you see that he is bringing all the food and giving to offering to her at that time you feel happy so how the karma works for you you feel happy oh good and she she got good food and good desserts how the karma going to work for you you are getting good food wherever you go understand wherever you go unexpectedly you, you are getting food unexpectedly and not only the food with the good desserts that you like yeah that's how the things work so you get the concept of how the karma works actually this is paticca samuppada i am not going to explain that this is paticca samuppada the people who don't know about the dhamma prutagjana for prutagjana people this is how the karma works understand now when you come to know about the dhamma then now i said how the thoughts are working yeah thought thoughts you want to create you and the world world means whatever the things outside yeah so when you come to know all about how the dhamma works what is going to happen now when, once you see that dog got hit by a stone what is going to happen now you know there's no dog there that dog is me actually eh? is that the dog that we are seeing now no one of our dead thoughts because as a, if even if if we are a baby we can't see that dog eyes can't, can't see but people think that eyes can see understand your mind shows generates that a uh, previously generated thought like dog and that is the mind that that is that dog is you actually not that dog you are seeing one of your past thoughts a similar uh, thought arising arises at the same time in the present moment do you get that clear yeah. bante um i'm i'm confused <laughs> yeah. you say our thoughts are us yes but uh i have been taught previously that our thoughts are lies are right. lies that we should guard against the our thoughts are not us and we have to develop the wisdom yes actually to see that to yeah. see that there are a lot of lies going yeah. around in our mind that, that, and we should not believe in yes. that so how do you correct yourself i want to tell you now suppose here is here you get this is a mountain here you get the enlightenment you get enlightenment here you will get enlightened there are different ways of going there and reaching this point any how one day you have to come and reach this place i am showing a method straight away you can go there using a helicopter yes this is i'm straight away i'm showing this point so all the methods are correct but this is i'm showing a fast quick and quick method quick method to see this the thoughts are you actually when you keep analyzing the way that i'm i just taught you, you you have to keep analyze only one thought yeah so you know all the thoughts have been created like this so once you keep doing this what is what is the what the nature nature does it opens up your wisdom mind automatically it happens randomly in an unexpected time okay so i, I know there are a lot of pathways to reach this to get open this wisdom mind i'm i'm teaching you a very simple and easy way uh now it's a, it's a good question actually i'll teach you another system another method another method to do this an- analyze to analyze thoughts so what is this actually
So this is you you might say this is a book. So if, if you are a baby, I'm showing you this. So what is this? You can't see this one. You don't even know there's something in front of me because there's no thoughts. There are no thoughts. So you don't get any feeling, yeah. So now you are saying that this is this is a book. So yeah, is this the book that you are seeing now? Actually, can anyone explain? Is this the book that you are seeing that you all are seeing? No, one of your previously generated thoughts generating in high speed and brings make makes a platform for you to stay actually that um, the similar thought a previously generated thought arises now and it will say book but because of the ignorance you are, you you are you think that you can see this book here so i will do a small exercise for you can you please Close your eyes and just just uh, think about this. Thinking about this book. Close your eyes, please, everyone, and think about my book, the book in my hand. Everyone can think. Can you see that? Yes, you can see, still see that book. Yeah. Okay. Close your eyes, everyone. Okay. Open your eyes and see. Now you understand this is not the book that you are seeing, yeah? You are seeing the book previously generated thought, a similar one arising now. Got it? With this sim simple experience, you know the all the things are like that. We think that we these ones are there. Now. Got it? Because of the speed, we we think that we can see these ones. That is the ignorance that we have. That's right. We are not going to say anything that this world, these things are physical things are not there. But we, what we see is not real. What we see, we are not seeing this one. That is the message that I want to pass. Uh, we are not saying that, oh, this is not here. But this is not the one that we are seeing. We are seeing something else. And just think about your mother. When you look at your mother, you will say, this is my mother. When I say mother, the same uh, sound pattern hits your ears, yeah? but you will generate different figures. How come? I'm just transferring a same sound wave to your ears because you're that using the same sound pattern, you will have used a different light pattern from a different figure. That's why that's how the thoughts have been created for you. A mother sign has come. Now what what is going to happen when I hit the same sound pattern? Everyone generates one of the a similar one, like your previously generated mother thought. Yeah, that that thought is you. I know this is very deep, but try to understand. I know you are, this is very hard to understand, even 1%, 2% can grab this 100%. Yeah, doesn't matter, but you still you are, you know, but one day you have to realize this, otherwise you can't get out from this world. Understand, whatever the things you do, you just keep on doing, even you are doing any meditation, you can keep on doing, but do you just keep analyzing how the thoughts are working. 
so now i said to you you to get uh, your wisdom i open you have to uh, keep analyzing the thoughts so first thought now you can analyze the mother yeah we assume that that is the first thought and this book i told you now this is the this is not the book that you are seeing then your previous previously generated and dead dead thought helps to create another similar thought like book and that is the thought arises now to make a platform for you to stay and you are not aware of this you think i am seeing this book so once you go back to that initially generated book and you when you analyze that thought what is going to happen again there will be a sound wave and the, the sound um, pattern and the light, and a light, light pattern here yeah? there's no you in there in other words you are going back to baby's life that is the second method of doing this vipassana doing this practice understand so either way you can do you can go back to your baby's life and think the first uh, first thought how it is going to create and or else you can take whatever the objects around you and go back to your baby's life understand so once you keep doing this practice randomly your wisdom i will get open after that what is going to happen now the question for your uh, uh, answer for your question after that when this wisdom eye gets open you don't have to keep analyzing the thoughts why that wisdom eye is another consciousness actually what is the consciousness consciousness that we have now that is our mind eh? that's a consciousness created by these five senses but that wisdom i is a different consciousness there's no word to explain that i will say that's a universal consciousness so always it is on top of everyone everything top of the mind so what the mind does it knows once you get to open that wisdom i once you open that wisdom i you can see what the things are mind what the mind does things that mind doing understand so you can't stop the process of generating thoughts what you can do just keep analyzing how they are generating once you keep analyzing them at once in an unexpected time your wisdom wisdom i will get open once you get op- once it opens you don't have to keep analyzing thoughts anymore the reason it, when when the thoughts are arising when thoughts are arising is the my shows or the, these are not real this is the process you you know you are aware of everything understand so what is going to happen now when we die again another question that i'm going to ask you when we are going to die now one day our body is going to get expired eh? and after that what is going to happen there will be a last thought arising when when it arises that wisdom i shows oh this is not real and this is so you are aware of everything automatically it happens that's the nature so you are not going to have a rebirth again why no padana you are aware of everything that is nirvana so i have 
showed you the nirvana also. Understand, you are not, you are going to stop the rebirth system. Well, so that's it. See, within this short time, I have told you everything. That is why we, are, we have to practice this Dhamma. Dhamma is how this mind creates and mind is the world, eh? in the other words, thoughts are the world. Bhante, is it that easy that if on last short moment we are aware that all this is unreal, then we do not uh, we will not be free born. But what about the past karma that we have uh, so, accumulated? So you life? know everything is you are you know once you come yes. yes yes when you yes when you op when you open your wisdom eye you know all these past thoughts are thoughts and those are not real. Understand? And it's a good question actually. I'm going to show you how this first thought is going to create, okay? So now we, we can go back to our baby's life again. So there's no world, there's no me, yeah? As a baby. Now the first thought, mother. All our five senses are working like this mirror. Your eyes, ears, nose. Tongue, body. Or, or five senses are like five meters. I don't have five meters, so I have only one. So I will explain to you how it is working. And quickly, I am going to explain to you. Now, can you see this image inside? Yeah? Now? Now, okay. I also can see, as you say, somewhere here. Image. Here. It's hard to hold this up. Here. Somewhere here. Does it exist clearly inside? Here? Somewhere here. That is how your five senses are working. Understand? Nothing happens. So I said to you, your eyes also work, eyes are also working. Like a mirror, here is also like that. So the first thought, mother, light travels from the physical object outside, mother, and hits your eyes. So what happens at the back of the mirror? Nothing, yeah? And the sound waves hit your ears. What happens at the back of the mirror? Nothing. Can those two nothing put it together and make any something? Can't even think here. Yeah? So that now you know you are not existing. Yeah? The thoughts are not real. Got it? Go, got the point, yeah? So this is the message that I want to pass. questions what do you think now it's a big illusion here yeah? so we think that thoughts are real we don't know about this process we are just running doing here and this and that useless here yeah? pointless this is very deep very hard hard to grab grasp but if someone can, can grasp now he can get enlightened. Now. Yes, that's the truth.
Yeah. Yes. So now you, I said you are you, you are the world. Yes. Now the world is is it is not there. Eh? That's right. Good. You you created here. Yeah. So I said you are the world. We think we don't know because we don't know what is happening. We think the world is there, and I am here to see the world. But I just kept um, wrote the topic. You are the world, and it is also not real. Yeah. Now I showed you how it is working. The world. Two nothings. You put it together and make something. That you feel like real. Your mother, father, brother, sister, house, yeah, your car, your body. Yes, once you keep practicing that, that wisdom eyes, I will open at any time. You can stop opening it, but you, automatically it happens. And you know, your, your baby's life, when you go back to your baby's life, there's no world there, eh? and there's no you. That's the, that's the truth. Yeah, always push back to your baby. That is the easiest way of doing it, doing this practice, because we have... All of us have been babies in our life one day, one at a time. So we have ex that ex we have got that experience. That's why I'm passing this um, dharma to you through your life experience. So you can't say no because you have one at, at a time you have, be have become a baby, whether you like it or not. That is the truth. Yeah. You can experience. Baby exists because you don't have thoughts. Yes. Babies, they don't have thoughts, so no world. And no, no, no you also. Here's the word. Is there a word? Ah, yes. Yes, you, you actually yes. You are you are you are the thought. Yeah. So when you say you are the thought, you, the word you means there is an I. Yes, that I. means there is an ego self, yes, yes, yes. which gets formed when yeah. the baby yes. starts to make meaning. Yeah. So actually, how to say? Mm. Now. When you go back to your baby's life, nothing to do with these thoughts, yeah? Mm. Yeah? So babies you have no ego, right? Yeah, no ego, no, no, no ego life. Form. Yeah? No me, no nothing. Even that baby cannot uh, hear sounds from the outside. Why? Ears can't hear. When these five senses work, Individually, nothing happens. So, at, at least you need two senses to make a thought. Two signals from two, two senses. Understand? Yeah, so I, sorry, I was just to yeah. uh, try to understand the, the detail of this process, which means as an adult, because we have an ego form, because we put meaning to the process of thoughts, yeah. the patterns so what that I'm, we what see. What I'm asking you, when, when you go back to a baby's life, what, how can you talk about an uh, ego? Yeah, baby so had no ego, right? Nothing. Yeah. So, so when, always you have to go there. Don't stop in halfway. You have to go there and stop in your baby's life. Understand? In baby's life, there's nothing. Actually, it is empty. Yeah, so what gets us into trouble is because we have the ego where we create a lot of meaning and we get attached to that. So the process Bante explained is for us to observe those thoughts yeah. that come up. Analyze the thoughts. Analyze the thought. Yeah. So when we do that and we recognize they're just unreal, they're yes, not uh, real. Yeah, it's not real. Then we, by default, when we realize that, we actually let go of the I as well. 
Is that how it works? No, actually that wisdom I will get open. It is going to get open at any time. So until that wisdom I gets open, or you have to keep analyzing the thoughts are not real. That's the process. Ah, so but when the wisdom mind opens, does that mean that's the moment we have no more I, me, my? No, 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 no I. because it shows you everything. It shows you everything from top. This, this is not real. This is an illusion. Understand? And it, it shows you there's no you there. Everything it will show us. Until then, you have to keep analyzing, oh, this, this is not real, and always go back to your baby's life and stop. In baby's life, there's, there's nothing here. Yeah? yeah, because I'm trying to understand Bante's uh, thinking around the sister's question. Yeah, because karma. Our, uh, our understanding yeah. is that karma, baby also bring with them karma. The karma so yes. while baby have no thoughts, no, no, no. They have karma that they bring with but them. But he, right? baby, already he has got karma. He has come to this world with previous karma. That's why he he got a birth this time. Understand? So once he get realize, I mean, once he come to know about this process, what is happening really at the moment, he will stop generating karma because thoughts are not real. To generate karma, you have to be Actually, if you if you are not if you don't know about this dhamma, those are the people who generate karma. Once you come to know about the thoughts are not real, automatically, the generating karma generating system stops. Yes. Thank you. That's right. That's right. So That's bante. right. Simply say that. So bante. Not day. Bante. Two. Yeah. Seeing that. <coughs> so the way when we are born, we are receptive of certain ways. So the karma that this doesn't get created again. It will not create again uh, once you, when you be aware of this process. Yeah. Because when you actually now, as an example, you get the same thing that you are hitting a dog. Or someone is hitting a dog, so that dog is not real. Yeah, you can't. You are, that is not the uh, dog that you are seeing. You are seeing one of your previous thoughts, a similar thought arising, a previously uh, a similar thought um, which has been arisen some time ago. And that thought is not there anymore. It is, it is a dead thought. A similar thought arises now. Dog. So you be you are aware of what is happening at that point. So karma is not going to work. I'm understanding this a bit particular. What is some part? Yeah. Realize me in meditation, which is a part. Do we need uh, to have the clarity of mind in yes. meditation to really so understand know. this process? So, are you a meditator? Are you doing meditation? Yeah. Okay. So, never mind, you can do meditation. There are two meditations. Eh? What are the two? Samatha and Vipassana. What is the Samatha Vipass uh, meditation that we are following? Samatha. That was the what? No. Uh, okay. So, that helps you. To calm down your mind, eh? and it makes a environment for you to do vipassana. At that time, when it, when your mind becomes calm, so it is not running here and there. So when it becomes becomes calm, straight away you convert into vipassana. How are you going to do that? To do vipassana, you should know this the things that I just taught you. Yeah. Mm. So once straight away you can go back to your baby's life. And start thinking straight away. You can because your mind is not running now. It makes a nice platform for you to uh, do this analyze. Yeah, mm. it is easy for you. That's why that's how the meditation helping you. Understand? Mm. So it's good that you are doing meditation. 
so do uh, some other don't keep it doing continuously there are another way or a way of doing uh, what you call that anapanasati i'll teach you later if you are a meditator you can speak to me i can give my number so at any time you can call me so there are um, couple of ways ways of doing it so i just explain one method only just do samatha and when your mind becomes calm convert into vipassana and keep analyzing this thought once you keep analyzing these thoughts something will happen i'm not going to uh, explain those steps otherwise you will run behind those steps and again nothing is going to happen that is what happened to um bikku ananda at B- B- lord buddha's time he want to wanted to become arahat yeah what happened he started practicing it in a idea of i want to become arahat so what happened nothing happened so you don't you, you can't have any expectations and hopes and plans that those are the four things that i told you at the beginning well, understand that is why you are not getting enlightened so good that you are doing meditation so you got the answer yeah good yeah you have So you want to go first? Better you want to go first? Okay. You want to go first? Oh, okay. Uh, hi, Bande. So, uh, I'm working. La. So, a bit hard can for me to grab please, rebirth suddenly. Can you put that down now? Oh, so, sorry. So, I can't. Uh, yes. Ah, sorry. That's all right. Not really can grab the rebirth yet. But from what I understand from Bande's talk, is it like this? Let's say I got a call from my boss. So, it's a sense of sound. And yeah. I can hear he is screaming. Yeah. So, from me my thought will be okay he is just screaming but it doesn't mean it is leading to a bad thing maybe he is just teaching me but in a very harsh tone so okay he asked me to go his office so normally a uh, lay people like me before going office oh no he's going to scream longer he's going to scream for another 2 hours at me but if let's say i follow what bante mentioned is it mean that okay let's put this i do not think that my boss will go me my boss is just telling me and i'm just reducing my karma by letting him scold me and maybe making a mistake so using the thought that i am he and me the thought that he is screaming at me is something to do with me then i can actually reduce my karma so and- why uh, i'm asking i'm going to ask you now you are uh, you are scolded uh, get, 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 your boss is yelling at you yeah yes now why he is yelling at you understand no, no just, just tell me why uh, now you know the dhamma you have could, to tell could me could be now. many things <laughs> huh? could be work problem no one of your previously previously you must be most you must have been happy you, you must have seen someone called um, yelling at another person oh. and um, <laughs> could be understand yes you have you must have been happy yes understand understand and minimum 500 times you are getting yes maximum uncountable times okay of karma has been created you don't know which one is coming now yeah yes and actually he he's helping you to reduce reduce your all bad karma yes so okay understand yes he doesn't know about it the nature does this and he came to help you Yes. And what is going to happen to him? Going to bring a lot of karma again. Yes. To experience the same situations. Understand? Yes. Got it? So this is very good question actually. So Bante, Did if let's say Yeah. If let's say I take personally, then the karma will times 500 again at my side, is it? <laughs> yeah. but once you come to know yes. you are aware of this nothing happens here yeah? understand so when you when when next time your boss is going to yell at you what are you going to do 
thing as yeah you you just you don't do anything ah oh, my previous karma is reducing yeah, reducing <laughs> and your boss is helping you to reduce all this bad karma understand okay and thank what do you. you think about him any bad thoughts it, it, it won't arise arising inside you yes yes then so you feel oh, seen yes seen yes don't I mean, under- if we one step further we will think that he get in, he get angry with himself probably probably you know something is happening that actually, so can we go one step further saying that okay it's just a thought no he but, never exists but he will, he will not understand the boss yeah we just stand there and let him score yes we huh? can just stand and what is going to happen it's a good question actually now once your boss is going to yell at you next time what you have to do just keep quiet and think this on the things think the uh, about this process i uh, understand your previously generated karma yes is doing this damage at that time what is going to happen the nature what the nature does it stops that situation environment and creates a good environment for you you next you can uh, everyone know, everyone of you all can do that uh, practice when someone yells at you just think just you don't do anything then don't tell anything just think inside how the whole situation will be turning upside down thank It you what is you, 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 you can do that um practice experience you can experience it now okay so very, this is very interesting yeah so when you come to you know, so you see now how many hours something one one and a half hours so you know everything this is deep patis sampada avijya patcha sankara that is the one that i explained to you sankara patcha vinjana vinjana patcha nam so i i i didn't explain i didn't use uh, uh, any single pali word then what is patis sampada patis sampada is the world actually that happens what is the sampada process happens once you don't know about this dhamma understand when you open your wisdom eye then the patis sampada what is the first one avidya pacha sankara what is it will become vidya avidya vidya udapadi ngona tema tanna iwa I don't know whether you all know about Pati Sampada, but don't worry about that. Mm, anyway, this is a very simple way, in a practical way, I taught you. You got something, yeah? What's your name, please? This one, I know you grabbed something. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Bhante. Yeah, so, um, uh, my name is Brother Lim. Uh, yeah. Um, Paticca Sambhupada is something I've heard before, learned before, um, yeah. exposed to Buddhism from a young yeah. age. La. So, okay. But it's very... De- hard to understand, yeah? Yes. Now, deep, now yes. I'll, I'll explain you like this. Now, see these five senses? As a baby, you have got these five senses. This is the Buddha state, actually. Buddha state, okay? But oh, how this mind works, what the mind does, grabs two signs from these two senses and make a thought that is the mara state that is the patisampada understand buddha stage is the stage is ah, five, senses, five senses and the mind it is in the mara state that is patisampada that's why you have to always go back to the, your baby's life and push back to your uh, buddha state i knew you got something that's why i i sense it from here good so any more questions <clears throat> bhante if i may so um so when i was learning about dharma and, and 
uh, all this um, concept of Buddhism yeah. at a younger age. So yeah. when I was in school, it's easier to absorb and you know, yeah, be aware of our thoughts and, and practice meditation. But now that um, I'm an adult, you know, I have I have two kids, uh, so two daughters, they are young, you know, they are baby now, they are young, young, young daughters. And they start to develop thoughts, right? Develop thoughts from the five senses, yeah. um, um, create karma. Um, how do we as parents help them to go back to their baby state? Because, you know, they are just baby becoming kids. And so actually, after seven years, yeah. how old are they? Five years old and two years old. Well, so very young. They cannot realize this. Mm. Uh, it has to pass seven years. Okay, okay. After I'm... seven years, we can teach them. Okay. Don't use this uh, complicated yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Just a simple thing like that. The that mirror. Song. Yeah, yeah. And this book, the book. Ask yeah. him to close the eyes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, still, they can uh, hide the book and just ask him to open the okay. eyes. Things like that, it'll, it'll help him to help them to know okay. what is happening really. Yeah, I, I guess because like some, uh, like my elder one, she's maybe more sensitive, more emotional. So, okay. Very influenced by thoughts, very influenced by, you know, the five senses, right? Not mm. happy, uh, whatever reason, hungry. Okay. Um, so, ask this question also. Now, you can ask your, when they pass your, uh, age seven. Okay. Now, this mirror, you can see this mic here. Eh? Yeah. So you can see a distance from here to here. Yes. Yeah? So is there a distance from here to the uh image inside? The image, yeah. You feel it, like there's a distance, like, eh? yeah. is that real? Mm. Tell them this to Okay. Um, see I mean. Yeah. Um mm. don't don't tell anything. Let them think. Yeah. There's a space here. But is there a space inside here? Or from the surface to inside? So if you want to touch that space, how can you touch it? You are touching the surface. Yeah. So things like that, you have to, you can tell them to do as practice and think and try to get the answer. They will open up something. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Mante. Yeah, I think the book and the mirror are yes. Mirror very is good going examples. to do a lot of stuff. Oh, this one, <laughs> it's very powerful. Thank you. And oh, you can point at a door and ask your baby to open that door inside. Get him to do that, and ask why. Then he'll, they will realize something. This part you cannot um, explain. Explain, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No words. If I use a word, it will become the world again. Yeah. And there's another practice for you all to do. I'll teach you. Keep a big mirror and keep two objects. Two objects. Just so, mic and a book, right? Yeah. So, just have a look inside that mic. I can see the mic. And think that how that thought is going to create. Don't, don't look at this, this one, the real one. That the image inside. And once you look at the book, still... There's another thought arising, and that's another you. That is not the um, uh, that is not you became the mic. Understand? It's another. Keep this practice for some time to see what is going to happen. Got it? The big thing will happen. Helps you to open the with the mic because nothing there's nothing inside here. Yeah? <laughs> so, but still the thoughts are arising. How come? Yes. 
So, those are the small secrets that I have, I wanted to tell you. Yeah. So, are there any questions? So, uh, otherwise, you can. Finish. Anyway, very good because I know most of you got the message. Yeah, so I'm happy. So because I'm showing you a direct method, direct path, not to go like this. Yeah, right round that one day you have to come now. Now you have to be enlightened now, not tomorrow, or in the next moment. Yes. Okay then. So it seems like no questions. Yeah. Are we now to me? Okay, thank you very much for everything. So I'll hand it over to Bante. Yeah, one one more question. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> Yeah. Yes, one question. But the, the from what you are teaching, uh, it, it seems like uh, the main purpose of practicing meditation is to do chitta nupasana, to look at the thoughts and to realize so like... You can uh, do any names, but I'm not using the Pali words, but actually it is true. true. Yeah. So, it's the truth. So, I just practiced, I, I gave you a practice um, without using these Pali words, otherwise what, what is going to happen? If I use these Pali words, something else is coming from your inside mm -hmm. suitcase. Yeah. So I want to stop that. It's a new new method. But you say we keep looking at our we keep looking at our thought. Yeah. But ultimately, Bante said the big thing, which I presume is a wisdom. Yeah. So, will it automatically arise yes, when the condition so is right? at any time. It will arise. Actually, I'll give, give you a hint. You have to, if you are sharp, if you are prepared, well prepared, it will take only three hours for you. You are what? Maximum. Huh? Okay. Oh, oh, maximum. Maximum. But if you are well prepared, okay. then the big thing so, will come. Don't think about anything. What so is I that? Just a hint. Well, that's what why I don't that? want to tell you anything. Just, just do this. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I know you are doing meditation. So it will help you. It won't take much time for you because already you have calmed down your mind. Yeah. Yes. Any more questions? Okay. Thank you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Hope you were very fortunate to have a listen to a very profound talk today. So finally, I want to invite you not about Dhamma, <laughs> but uh, how to make your mind to accept what you. So, at the time of the Buddha, a Benedictine monk came to the Buddha and he said that. No need, no need, no need. That's not recorded. No need to record. <laughs> so, that Benedictine monk firstly went to few monks and asked them uh, how to purify the mind, actually how to attain the Nibbana. Then one monk gave a reply, an answer. Uh, you can attain Nibbana by understanding origination and passing away of six senses. Then he went to another monk and asked him, to what extent the mind is purified, is the mind is purified. That monk said, uh, if you can understand origination and passing away, 
of uh, five aggregates, you can attain Nibbana. Then he went to another mind and asked, to what extent is the mind purified? Then that senior monk said, uh, you can attain Nibbana by understanding the origination and passing away of, uh, uh, you know, four elements. So now he got, actually he went to another monk also, at least five months as I remember. Then he got five answers to the same question, right? Then finally he went to the Buddha and asked, I asked this question, to what extent is the mind purified? So these different monks gave me different answers. So what will be the right? What is the right one? Then the Buddha said, he gave a simile, very simple simile. Uh, you imagine there is a person who hasn't seen a tree called riddle tree. You just name one of the trees. Huh? No need to know the exact tree. It is a, it, the, the name of the tree is riddle tree. I don't know whether it's, it is available in Malaysia. So, uh, you go that person who hasn't seen that riddle tree goes to a person who has seen the tree and asks, so what is the riddle tree? The person said, oh, it is black like a burnt stump. Then the person went to another person who has seen the tree. Then asked, what is riddle tree? Then he said, oh, the riddle tree is red. It is like a meat, a piece of meat. So likewise, he went to different person who has seen the riddle tree. He also got different answers. So how do you think the riddle tree is black or red or any other nature? Say, how do you think? All of them. You know, sometimes it is seasonal. In different seasons, you can see it is black like a burnt stump. And you can see the flowers over there like a piece of meat. Right? Likewise, you see the riddle tree in different ways, but the same tree. So, actually, when you... Uh, teach the Dhamma, it is very good to be open. Don't stick into one method or one way. This is only the way that I can understand Dhamma. No, don't stick into one method or one way or one vision. Please be open. Your open mind is very important to understand the Dhamma. So that's why I wanted to tell you as the conclusion, no need about the Dhamma. He also said like that there are different ways, right, to go to this. So that is uh, at the end of this talk I wanted to add. Okay. Uh, thank you for your presence and thank you for inviting us to come here. Okay, finally we can share the merits. Okay. May all the uh, deities receive this merit and attain the supreme place of Nibbana. Page number, what is the page number actually? <laughs> 41, okay. Okay. Let us share the merits together. Akasatha chabhummatha devanaga mahibhika Punyantang anumoditva chiran rakham to loka sasanang Akasatha chabhummatha devanagamahidhika 
ಪುನ್ಯಂತಂಗನುಮೋದಿರಾಂಥಂ ಆಕಾಶಿ ಪುಂತಂಗನುಮೋದಿ ಚಿರಂಥಂತು ಮಂ ಪರ ಅಮ್ಮೇಹಿ ಸಂಭತ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಸಂಪದ ಸಭ್ಯೂತನುಮೋದಂತು ಸಭ್ಯ ಸಂಪತ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿಯ ಇಮನ್ನೋ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಭಾಗ ಮಾತಾಪಿತೂನಂಚ ಆಚರ್ಯಾನಂಚ ಸಭ್ಯ ಸತ್ತಾನಂಚ ಸಭ್ಯ ಮಿತ್ತಾನಂಚ ಸಭ್ಯ ಜಾತಿನಂಚ ಸಭ್ಯ ಪೇತಾನಂಚ ಸಭ್ಯ ದೇವತಾನಂಚ ಭಾಜೇಮ ಮೆರಿಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ may the departed ones receive these merits and attain supreme bliss of nibbana idam me jate nang ho tu sukhita bhuntu jatayo idam me jate nang ho tu sukhita bhuntu jatayo idam me jate nang ho tu let us make the aspiration to attain the supreme bliss of nibbana imina punya kammena mame bal samagamo satan samagamo hotu yavani bana patiya ಸಾಧು ಸಾಧು ಸಾ